Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Investigation. And in today's episode of Investigation, we want to discuss the last problem from AMC 10B as well as AMC 12B, which they're basically the same problem from the last AMC test, which is 2021. And let's get started by seeing what the problem states. The problem states that there are a set of lattice points between 1 and 30, so that will result in 30 squared or 900 points in total in the lattice point. And there is an equation that crosses over the origin of the plane, and it wants as the interval of length a over b. So, as you might probably have seen, I drew it out. But in the actual exam, you don't have that much time to draw it. Neither do you have time to actually like point out the points. And this problem is actually very possible without a diagram. But to just show you guys visually and more clearly, I decided to draw this diagram out. So first of all, let's just think of this diagram as solid square and we want one third or 300 of the total area. So if we want 300 of the total area, then what we have here is actually 30 by 30 or 900 and one to a triangle that is about like this and this area would be 300. So that definitely indicates that this will be 20 and the M would be about 20 over 30 or 2 over 3. And let's now think how the M, how is M when M is equal to 2 thirds and how many points are actually under or on the line. So let's draw the line. But before we draw the line, we need to mark some points that actually cr crosses the points. Notice that the point actually does not cross this point because it is actually a coordinate of 1, 1, and what we want is crossing the origin, which is the coordinate of 0, 0. So let's just briefly draw a axis system and that call our origin. And that it definitely crosses this point as well. And the rough line with slope 2 third would just look like this. And let's calculate how many points are actually under this line. So under this line we have, for example in this we have 2 over 3, this we have 4 over 3, this we have exactly 2, this we have 8 over 3, dot 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 afterwards and we actually just want to take the floor function of it to get the number of points actually below the point or on the point because if it is actually passing the point then the floor function does not minus anything at all so that is exactly what we want and after taking the floor function of it we realize that will be 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus because this point actually crosses the point there will be a stump like 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus dot 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 and there are three groups of like three number sets and there are 10 groups of those sets and that those sum if added up that will be 3 this will be 9 this will be 15 adding 6 on each group because each of the element would be adding 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And plus plus plus. If we want 10 groups, then there are 9 common differences. 9 times 6 plus the original term 3, which would result in 57. So we have 57 as the last term. Therefore, the sum of the arithmetic sequence that we have over here will be 3 plus 57 times well, we have 10 groups and divided by 2. So that will be 60 divided by 2 times 10. That will be 300. Exactly 300. We got lucky over there and we have exactly what we want. Can the point be lower or can the m value be lower than this? 
Well, no, it cannot be lower than this. Because if it is lower than this, it will miss the point like this, like this, from actually passing it, and thus decreasing the total amount of points from 300 like, to, let's say, 280-ish. And that is not what we want. So now we just basically want to find the higher bound of this line, right? From a higher bound, we actually want to find the smallest, the smallest m, m me, that crosses another point, and we don't want that point to happen. So we know that this interval it has a lower bound of two thirds and a higher bound. And a higher bound, we actually don't want it to pass the point because that would exceed our limit from 300 to more. So the other side would have an open parentheses. Although this question does not ask you for it, just ask you the uh, interval length. But that is a thing to t keep in mind if this is a free response question or it asks for the actual interval. And we want to find the minimum slope that across this. And that, let's say, there are three kinds of intervals from the line that actually now currently exists or y is equal to two-thirds x to the point. So there are three types of them. One type is having one, the other type is two-thirds uh, two away from it, and the third type is one-third away from it. And we know that the shortest distance would just be one-third from it. And do we want one-third from it on, like, let's say, this bound, or do we want one-third from it on the other bound? From a perspective thinking, one-third if we wanted to subtract that from the numerator, we want the numerator and denominator to be as large as possible for the actual subtraction to be smaller. Therefore, we want it to be closer to this side as possible. But just to show it to you, we are going to do both. So that would be one, right? That would be one just over one, so that would be a slope of one. That is one candidate, we want to find the minimum. And the second candidate would just be from this, which is, that is, one, two, three, four. We don't actually need to count it out, but we just want to, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And that is not a very accurate sketching, but we know that this would have a length of 20, and that would be, that would guess to be 19, and that would be 18. And that, if we add 1 on top of that, we would get 19. So 19 over, what we have over here is the 28th x, so m2 is that. m1 is definitely larger, so m1 would just get crossed off. And we have a final candidate that is more farther to the right, but they will subtract more. And it will be this candidate over here. And this candidate would have to be 20 over 29. And we know this 19 over 28 is smaller than 20 over 29. And there's a very easy method of identifying that because that can be easily achieved by Let's say, if we have this and this, let's say we have a cup of, let's say, sugar, and it is 50% filled with sugar. If you add more sugar into it, the numerator and the denominator will both increase, right? But that the cup of water is definitely getting sweeter, sweeter and sweeter, meaning that the fraction is getting bigger and bigger. So if the numerator and the denominator adds the same thing, the fraction actually gets bigger. So that's an easier way to identify that. So the upper bound would just be 19 over 28. So our bound would just be like that. And last step we want to do is 
a subtraction. If we multiply that, so 28 times 3 will be 19 times 3 minus 28 times 2. So that would be 57 minus 56 over, uh, that will be 484. So our answer would be 1 plus 84 or 85e. Thank you for watching this episode of Interstigation. And we'll see you in the next episode of it. And this is the last episode of this year's 2021 AMC 10B. If you want similar content, leave a comment if you want me to do earlier versions such as 2020. But I will definitely do one for 2022 as soon as it comes out. So thank you for watching and have a great day.